Hello everyone and welcome back to Oh, whoa. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Got my <coughs> nunchuck wire stuck in my uh chair. Anyways, welcome Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyward Sword. I'm Game or er, Le Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm yeah. Game and Roy. And last part we did a lot of stuff. We actually was thinking about what we accomplished and we accomplished a lot of stuff. Um we figured out how we can get reach Zelda, got a new bottle, helped that guy. Um, here you just want to move the sog over. Yeah. Help that guy save from the, uh, get safe from those Baco goblins and figure out what those statues can be used for. I didn't point, actually, I might as well point that out now before I go. Um, these statues, um, if you go, it's only the red statues though, but if you go talk to them, or not talk to them, but examine them, you can go to the sky back to any time you want. So, if you ever feel a need, like if you want to get your shield repaired, or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do, to go back to the sky, you can, or the sky loft that is, um, you can go just back there and do whatever you need to do. And as you can see, Zelda seems to be over here. I don't know how long this video is going to be, just because I was trying to think of where I want to stop it, and there's really no good place to stop it. But maybe there will be. Master, you've entered the far on woods. Okay. Get a little bit of cutscene of what it looks like, and wow, that is a huge tree. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. And we discovered a lot more of this area. There's, I guess you can kind of see over to the two sides up there. But there's some stuff we haven't discovered, but we will get to that a little bit later. <coughs> Looking at the problem, it's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in this area. I recommend you can continue to use your dazzling bell to search for her. All right. Yes, that is a good idea. And yeah, of course, it's the same to douse her again. And hang on, my remote's not centered. And it's over there somewhere. Okay. Um. Also, you can kind of cut down these trees in very different ways. Some of those will be a little bit more important. Here's another statue if you don't want to save. I'm not gonna do it though. There's a vine here. Oh, oh, didn't grab it. And you don't really need to this part, but I will show. You can swing the remote. You want to swing. Um, if you over here though, there's a bug right there we can't really do anything about. It's this tree, if you keep on cutting it and get the bright part of it, you'll get usually five rupees. I'm pretty sure it's always that, but yeah. It's pretty cool though. I always liked that when I first played this game, I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. And there seems to be some Baco goblins, uh, centered around some sort of kind of plant, which seems to be living. See if we can actually. There we go. You can do jump attack in this game. Um, it's not the usual like uh, press A to use a jump attack. You have to go. Well, actually, I actually do you. Oh, well, I like to go back and then basically you just jump forward and then swing the emote, and that's basically jump. I'm not sure if it does extra damage like it does in other games, but. Let's go ahead and talk to this thing, whatever it is. <clears throat> huh? It's gone quiet. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be a hard voice to do. <laughs> Quick ooh! Now there's a green one. I don't even know that came in green. <clears throat> don't hurt me, go weep. <laughs> oh, that's a weird voice to do. Anyways, this thing is running away from us and Let's try to catch I mean, we are the good guy here. We'll try to save him. Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike in dowsing rays from the creature you scattered. Uh, let's say Zelda? Is it Zelda? The probability of the Siphon being in Zelda is 5%. Yeah, that does seem... I think it'd be a lot lower than that, but whatever. So I must conclude that this, in fact... That this, in fact, not Zelda, but a peaceful forest creature known as the Kikui. Kikwis are cool. 
Uh, Kikwis are entirely intelligent beings capable of speech. Yes, upon further observation, clearly not Zelda. So you're saying that Zelda is not intelligent or capable of speech. How nice of you. <laughs> it is unclear why such a creature would implicit a dowsing spot attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Yeah. It's hard over here if you got some damage from that fight. Shouldn't have though, it's a pretty easy fight. I mean, I mean we, whoa, that's, oh never mind. Okay, I thought the tree got wedged on the side there for a second. Um, I mean, I guess in the early in this game that those fights might be a little bit hard just because of how they block your sword. It was a bit hard at first, but they are really easy once you get used to it. There's that Kikui again. Uh, can we? No, it doesn't. Yeah, the slog does not serve any purpose. Well, I mean, it does serve a purpose to get back up, but. Yeah, you can't push it or anything. There's another statue over here. Uh, some birds right here. Um. He has something to say to us. Master Link, should you have questions about anything, I encourage you to call me with it down. Once I am summoned, select advice or hints, and I will promptly offer you information pertinent to your current circumstance. Alright. Um, if you look at. Oh, well, actually. Um, sounds like he's over here. You can hear him. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just cut this mushroom. There we go. <laughs> That kind of scared him. Actually, he wanted to show something about this mushroom. Um, if you get out an empty bottle, which we do have, you can slash the mushroom, take out that bottle, and scoop like the spores that come up from it. And you get some mushroom spores. These spores are from, are from a giant mushroom. Yes. These spores are pretty useful. I mean, I haven't, actually, they're not too useful, but pretty useful. I mean, you can, uh, I think you can use them on enemies, but... Usually they only affect NPCs, so... Oh, okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, I'm not gonna try it then. I'm gonna see if I can do... Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Not too bad. Usually I can't do the horizontal slices, you know. So, I'm gonna hear him over here. Is this him? Yes, it is! Yeah, those spores can do just kind of funny things to him. Uh... I'm not sure about enemies because I haven't tested much that much on enemies, so yeah. I know it does some do some stuff to some NPCs. Oh, and one of them dropped a jelly bob again. Also, um, you might notice I did restart the game because this is uh, I did start a new recording session from, from now. And once you restart the game, whenever you pick up an item, it always goes shows you what it is in the menu, which is what I kind of found annoying a little bit, but nothing you can really take uh, fix. But I think I saw him over here. Before I even do that, though, I'm gonna go. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and push this just to because I want to. And there's an item back here I kind of want to sh show off that we'll need to upgrade our shield. Actually, that we have. It's an ember relic. These em Amber-colored chunks of precious stone are, are found everywhere. No one knows where they, their strange shape comes from. <laughs> that was a funny face he gave after I, after it kind of the game kind of froze for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, let's go and talk to this guy. It spotted me again. Quee! <laughs> Huh? You don't want to eat me? Cooey, and come to think of it, why did you fight all those red monsters? Making him sound more evil than I pitched now. Key leap. I'm Machi. Or Maki. Uh, probably, maybe I like Machi better. I'm Kikui. You seem okay. Even though you're, you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into a funny animal like you. But that one was a girl. Well, obviously, I don't think I know who Zelda was unless Zelda told, told Maki his name, so let's say who. I don't know who she was. 
but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. She's a friend of yours, Kui. <laughs> wow, that really messes up my... That voice is hard to, uh, easy to mess up. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui. But she escaped with the Kikui elder. Master! Uh, whoa, <laughs> wrong voice. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters that somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of Kikui known as Maki. Please confirm your current location. Blah 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 blah. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that these Kikui most likely produce a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct, direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize that there is an 85% chance that Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue to use your dowsing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me, Kui. You have some very strange company, friend. Kilpalib. It sounds like you're setting on finding this friend in the Elder. If heading this way anyway, Kui, would you mind telling our Elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kui. I bet your friend is safe with our Elder. <coughs> I won't have to do that guy's voice for a little while. If you knock down the street, these weird fruit things, I'm not sure, sure exactly what they are, will fall down. And they usually will give you an item of some kind. Rupees or hearts or whatever. Let's go and get this one, see what it is. Um, can we? Okay. Let's see. Uh, Zelda seems to be over here. So, let's just go over there for now. <laughs> I'm not going to do all the uh, Kikui voices like that, but <laughs> I'll just do Makis like that, I guess, or Machis. Um, easy way to kill this guy, just getting this stone and just, well, throwing it at him. Uh oh, I almost didn't kill him. Let's go and get that ruby. I mean, it's only one, but why not get it? Some more Baco goblins here. All right, so we need to get that ledge. It looks like. Oh, um, here's an Octo Rock. Oh, perfect timing. This target lock Octo Rock grass. This monster descended from oceanic mollusks and has developed the unsightly ability to spit rocks. The creature prefers to sleep with its tufts on grass on its head, so it has learned to take on a series of grass in order to fool it and defeat its prey. You can use a shield to bounce this rock to bounce the rock this monster spits back at it. You defeated blah 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 blah. Same thing as she usually says at the end. Oh, whoa, perfect timing. I didn't think I was going to get that. Um, I will say that there is no point for this little fountain area right here, but I will explain of what I think it is. And this does contain, to contain a little bit of Twilight Princess spoilers. So, um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put my, for, okay, from now on, whenever I talk about spoilers, I will have my, when I say I'm about to talk about spoilers, I will have my first person view on, and whenever I take it off, that means I'm done talking so you can unmute the video or whatever you did, so. Anyways, spoilers up ahead, so mute the video now if you don't want to hear them. So my opinion of what the, I think this fountain is, and I'm pretty sure this is what the fountain is, is that in Twilight, oh, centered it, oh, come on, center it, there we go. <laughs> in Twilight Princess, there is a fountain, much like this, in which you met a um, a light spirit. I can't remember its name right now. I think it was actually Faron, actually. So maybe I, actually, yeah, it was Faron. I think about it. Its name was Faron as a light spirit, and I think it's kind of this is kind of a reference. Oh, dang it! Oh well, spoilers aren't done yet. I didn't mean to do that. Why is it being all weird? Um, 
Anyways, I know this is a little bit weird because my Wiimote's acting up really weird. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, the Light Spirit here. Uh, he protected Pharaon Woods and yeah, it's basically. Oh, I'm trying to even trying to get a good view of it, but I think I have to recalibrate my remote. So I'll do that after I'm done talking about this. Light Spirit, Twilight Princess lived here. Uh, this looking it looked exactly like this fountain. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah. Anyways, okay. Spoilers are done now. Uh, let me go ahead and recalibrate my Wiimote because something weird is going on. Well, now it's acting okay, but still, I mean, need to recalibrate. Sorry, they have to see, so I would cut this way, but I'm too lazy to. So, all right, all right. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go over here. There we go. I hit my mic set, part of my headset a few, there a few times, but that's okay. You can cut down these things, by the way, too. They usually don't contain items, but they're there to cut down. And you can push this down to that, so you can see kind of that little... Actually, this is back where that statue was, so... You can kind of see that main area from there. Let's go here. Oh, did a jump jack accidentally. And I believe there's some more birds up here, which is pretty cool. Another Octa- oh, whoa, accidentally evaded it. Another Octa rock and some more uh, fruit nut type things. I don't know what they are exactly. Oh, ah, oh, that stinks. I may get my uh, shield repair off screen. Oh, ah, oh, I didn't take damage. Oh, this lets you know if you take damage, you can sit down to replenish your health. So. Pretty interesting fact there. I didn't actually know that till I almost beat the game, so it wasn't that big of a fact for me, and I don't use it that much anyways, but it is a little bit useful thing, just that I know. Oh, oh, hey, I was just going to first some view there. And Fee wants to talk to us. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. Fell down. Well, it wasn't that far of a walk anyways. Don't want to run out of stamina now, though. Alright, so, you still want to talk to us, Fee? No, apparently not. Um, what you want to do here is, well, we'll just cut down that rope. I accidentally did that when I pulled up my sword. So you cut down that fine rope thing, and then you just run towards it. And this press A should be fine after that. And um, this should, oh wait, let's go and put our Zelda dowsing back on, see what it well, this is where Zelda's reaction is coming from, so let's go and talk to him. Kui <laughs> Kui, I am Bucha the Q or Buka. Buka sounds better. I am Buka the Kikui Lead Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kui. Clearly you are master woodsman. Others like you? He doesn't know who Zelda is either, I'd assume. What? You seem you see, you've met. You say you've met some of my people, Kui. Hmm. Kui, so ma so Machi is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters—they're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. And you're never looking for one of your lost people as well. Hmm. Yes. At one point during the monster panic here, I did speak with a blonde girl of your kind, Kui. Oh wow 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 wow. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> but now this is not the time for such talk. The forest is full of monsters and I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui. The shock and worry has made my memories of this girl quite hazy. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe? Make sure they are safe, Kui. I am worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. So if you, if you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like talking for Fee, so that's why I'm not doing it, by the way. So yeah, we now have Kikui's as a dowsing option. 
and still room for one more. Um, I don't think I'll be getting that for. Uh, no, we don't need to die this way, because I'll explain it. It's not that hard. That's pretty useful, I guess. Thanks for that. Okay, so to choose a different target, you just hold C. And, like, you choose a different bottle or whatever, different, sh like, choosing your shield or bottle, you just go around and just click on that. Or, not click on it, but just put your mouse over, or not your mouse, your cursor over it, and then eventually you find one. Um, hang on one moment. I'm gonna check the time real quick. I think we're gonna end it off here. We're gonna find the keyquees in the next part. So, and I will end it off here because it is a little bit. I think finding the keyquees will take a good amount of time. So, until then, I accidentally went to the menu. Until then, I will see you guys later.